did it. I knew we would. You continue to prove the Mongols are not unstoppable. You taught me to fight. I couldn't disappoint you. And you never have. I am proud of the warrior. The man you have become. Jin, my message to the Shogun included an announcement. I wish to formally adopt you as my son. Uncle. In my heart, you have always been the heir to my legacy. When this war ends, we will make it official. Anbar Mind, people of Yarikawa, I am Temuge, leader of this war band. I learned your speech, so I may offer you a future. Open your gates before my camp flies the black flag, and you will know great mercy. Refuse, and you will know terrible misery. Choose your future, Yarikawa. Good work, Daikoku. Take your men back to Yarikawa's stronghold. Right away. I know you're a Sakai. But you didn't mention you're the ghost. Will we have your help breaking the siege? If Ujimasa accepts it. I'll make sure he does. The stories are true. I've never seen anyone fight like you. Kaka, go with Daikoku. I need a moment with Jin. I'll see you back home. We did it! Kaka could have been killed, Jin. I saw him fall. We're losing the... He's fine. He did everything perfectly. I shouldn't have let him fight. You know... I know you want to protect him, but you're holding him back. Taka's not a fighter. He could become one. You don't know my brother like I do. You can't always be the one to defend him. I'll decide what's best for Taka. You look after your own family. I need to go back. We still need to end this siege. I'll see you there. Kenji! I'll kill you! Who are you? The man who's going to end Kenji's life. You left me here to die. No, not true! I brought help! Meet Lord Sakai, also known as the Ghost. One of you explain what's happening, now. Kenji set me up is what's happening. It wasn't a setup. Thank you, Lord Sakai. Yes, thank you. You know what happens now. <laughs> I'm going to ride that Sakai barrel all the way to... Kenji, I think he's angry. Lord Sakai, our intention was always to gift our gains to the survivors who need it most. The camp outside the town of Yarikawa. Gather everything you can. And when I visit that camp... I'm going to find it overflowing with food and medicine, correct? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Lord Samurai, please, I have a message for you. What's wrong? A demon is going to kill me if I don't tell you his tale. Don't waste my time. Demons are just legends. Not this one. His name is Kojiro, and he cannot die. Long years ago, Kojiro was a straw hat ronin. So fearsome, deadly, and bloodthirsty, his own brothers turned against him. From dawn until dusk, dozens of straw hats fought Kojiro. He slew them all. Those who escaped that day disowned Kojiro from the straw hat ranks, but never crossed him again. The spirits of death were so astonished by Kojiro, they blessed his armor to grant him a tireless sword arm. He's now more than a man. He's a slayer of legend. When the Straw Hats betrayed our people and joined the Mongols, they welcomed Kojiro back as a brother. 
Five killers from the Straw Hats have joined Kojiro and sworn an oath to kill you. Kojiro wants me to know I'm hunted. I'll be on my guard. No need, my lord. Kojiro will grant you the honor of a duel. But you must earn that privilege by dueling the five straw hats who joined him. It seems I already accepted his challenge without realizing it. Then you know they're waiting across the region and will use innocent people to draw you to them. I'll finish this and make sure Kojiro dies as he should have all those years ago. Be careful. I've never met a man like him before. I'm not even sure he is a man. Lord Sakai, you're back. Taka, Yarikawa has a fighting chance because of our efforts. You should be proud. I am, my lord. But the Mongols are growing restless outside. We showed them Yarikawa won't surrender. Now they want payback. Will they attack tonight? Unlikely. They'll give us a sleepless night, then attack tomorrow, when we're exhausted. Get some rest while you can. I almost forgot. Yuna is in the keep. She wants you to meet her there. Thank you, Kaka. Lord Sakai. Preparation for the town's defenses are going well. Daikoku tells me this is the ghost doing. Thank you. But it won't change what I think of your uncle. That's not my goal. The samurai were wiped out. We need you. You need bodies to throw at the Mongols. Yarikawa's people are known for courage and skill. We need that more than anything. I'll consider it. Too. They killed the samurai. What chance do a bunch of farmers have? We have to try. I think you need this more than me. <clears throat> Kenji spent the rest of the day Wearing one sandal. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. 
<laughs> My mother loved it. Used to drink it like water. She gets so mad when she ran out. Yelled at us. Where's my tea? <laughs> Sounds like a demanding woman. She broke Taka's arm when he was six. I took him away. Ran as far from her as we could get. We heard they found her a month later. Face down in the street. You were brave to protect your brother. Sometimes our only choice is to walk away from everything we know. Yuna! Jin, this is it. To the gates. <sighs> Whatever happens, we don't retreat. Jin! Yuna! The Mongols! Let's go. How close? They're at the main gates. If they get through, we'll stop them. There he is! The ghost! The ghost! Save us! Taka! Gather everyone who can't fight and get them to the keep! Everyone! Take shelter in the keep, quickly! They're at the gate! They're attacking! They'll breach the gate! Stand your ground! Every Mongol who sets foot inside our walls will die! Don't let them pass to you! Archers! Cut them down! Oh, you recover! For the gold!
They're falling back. We barely damaged them. What are they up to? Trying to lure us out? No. Hold them off as long as you can, then fall back to the keep. I'll deal with the siege weapons. I should come with you. No. Taka needs you. through the walls. But we can still drive them out. It won't be easy to get back to the stronghold. General, look it. Sounds like he's near the keep. Look at Chatterquet. 
I am Jin Sakai, and I have killed men like you all across our island. Your blood will soak the island! Careful, Tamuge. You can't get Kotun's reward if you're dead. A lucky blow! You will not get another! Tsushima now, and I might show you mercy. Garikawa will burn! You have killed men in many countries to move on, but here, you die. Saved your town. Now we help Lord Shimura save our island. We are not soldiers. Who killed these Mongols? Who stood against the siege? Who saved? Yarikawa! We did! You can't just stay here and wait for the Mongols to try again! You say you are not soldiers. You are warriors. 
We could defeat the invaders and save our home. But only if we stand together. Done. Yarikawa will join our fight. My uncle will want to hear the good news.
Maybe I'll take that Mongol bastard's head, or drown him. No, I'll put the torch to him, just like he did to Lord Adachi. Make you mad. Which way, Tata? Then you have seen. Thank you. 
At Kushidara Temple, monks are in danger. Norio, Lord, Lord Sakai. Look what they've done! Kushidera Temple deserves reverence, not bloodshed. Centuries of wisdom lie within those walls, and the Mongols were ready to torch it all to the ground. They attacked for a reason. The temple gives people hope! The abbot's been telling people to pray for a great storm to wash the invaders from our home. Now the abbot's missing. And the brutes stole the most sacred relic in Toyotama, a statue of Buddha, carved at the temple's founding. My brother would have recovered them. He would have given these monks hope before they ran for the hills. And we honor his memory and restore the temple. The Mongols stole the statue of Buddha from the main hall. And the abbot? He and his closest followers fled. I'm hoping they found shelter. I'll see to the monks. Sora, come on! I came to return something that was stolen. I never thought I'd see this again. One of your monks lost his life to protect it. That man was no monk. He was a peasant we'd taken in. One morning I woke to find him gone, along with this statue and one of my robes. Then he wasn't a martyr. He was a thief. We are all subject to our choices. His ended in suffering.
The abbot is from Cedar Temple. Why did he come here? To help resist the Mongols in Toyotama. But when they attacked, he escaped. The battle was chaotic. Might be difficult to track them. There's a farm nearby that supports the temple. We'll start there. time Abbot Kome went missing. The temple was divided by a feud between our senior monks. What were they fighting about? I don't remember, but it seemed important at the time. The abbot disappeared for a week. We dropped everything to look for him. What happened to him? He hid from us on the cross. Then we stopped fighting in order to find him. He's a cunning leader. Another time, my brother and the healer, Hochi, were fighting. The abbot started carrying a rock everywhere, arguing with it night and day. Hochi and Enjo were so embarrassed, they reconciled. How did your brother feel about the abbot? Enjo respected him, like a father. If the Mongols captured the abbot, it could work out well for us. It sounds like he'd tricked them into giving up the invasion. <laughs> You're beginning to understand Abbot Kome. from the farm. love that fire, don't they? He's not the abbot. Just one of his followers. Keep searching. He's dead. Burned alive. Norio. Water barrels. Tipped over. Straw bedding. Hmm. Damn. Could the abbot have saved himself? He protected himself with wet bedding. Escaped out the back. Maybe he survived. Yeah. Whoever survived the fire went this way. Then there's still hope. Footprints are heavier. Farther apart. He was running. Mongol Face has. me! What's he doing? Stay with me. I'm cat! Sir Miss! Searching near the waterfall's edge.
No blood. He jumped down. Blood on the rocks. Is that a cave? No. Is he? I'm sorry, Norio. Without his leadership, the monks will leave. And the temple will fall. The Mongols won. What's that next to him? A Lotus Sutra. Written in the abbot's blood. His final act. Like a samurai's death poem. The point of this sutra is that we can all be Buddhas. From the lowest peasant to the greatest noble. Written with his dying breath. Not for himself, but for those he left behind. Show the sutra to the monks. If they see the abbot's devotion, they might stay. And this is the sutra the abbot wrote in his own blood. A final act of devotion. A call to stand up to cruelty. A call to stay and not surrender. We will honor the abbot's sacrifice, Norio. We must not let Kushi Temple fall. Enjo the Guardian saved us once. Now his brother and Lord Sakai have saved us again. And together we can defeat the Mongols. <laughs>